Hey guys, Robin here from Team Foxer with probably my best ratting video to date. Um, I got an invite, so a big shout out to Premier Pest Solutions for the invite to go and help deal with a rat problem inside a waste recycling plant. The weapon of choice that evening was the Air Arms S510 FAC Extra, so you can take a closer look at that. Now it's a cracking uh, bit of kit, extremely accurate and perfect for the job because you can dial it down with the neat little dial. Everything was filmed through the night site um, as well as a little bit of extra footage um, to go along with it and I think it makes for some, uh, some pretty interesting watching. Um, the place was absolutely humping humping with rats quite literally and overall I think we took probably about a hundred um, or so we simply lost count after. We couldn't pick them all as you'll see, lots of them were in the top of um, the rubbish pile which made for quite hard extraction but as the rubbish gets emptied those ones will be collected and uh, uh, disposed of accordingly. Um, we'll probably end up going back as well because um, as you will see there was a lot of rat activity there but uh, we've had a text from the owner of the plant to already say that we've certainly put a sizable dent in numbers. So enjoy the video, let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, I've got some other great fox in action coming up soon. Take care, stay safe and happy shooting. Rock big old bugger just gone in there. Oh there look. Oh, yeah. the size of him. Yeah, he's had more paws than now. Yeah. There's two there, look. There's another one on the left. Yeah. yeah I, I thought they were paws in the weekend. Did you? Yeah. They're not bothered, look. Nah. Look, bang, bang. Yeah. There's more at the end. Oh, look. Yeah, there's, there's five or there. six there. This one's the same. So after a brief look around at what we were facing, I was quite keen to get set up. The Air Arms S510 has a very easy fill magazine. I'll keep them handy because I've got a feeling we'll be needing some more of those. The night sight system is extremely easy to set up. It only takes about a minute to get it all put on the gun and ready to go. Having had a scout around already, the early signs were good and it looked like it was going to be a promising evening. Little did I know that when the lights went out, this place really came alive. You didn't even see that one, did you? That's two. He's still twitching ever so slightly, don't they? Oh, yeah. Bit of helicopter tail. Here I'm just adjusting the night sights infrared so I uh, don't end up with a picture too over illuminated. And with that, this one's mate comes to see what all the fuss was about. For the first half an hour or so we had the uh, the main lights on, or some of the main lights in the building, and the two A pillars, that uh, the concrete A frames that kept all of the uh, the waste in the middle of the, uh, the building, those were some of the most productive areas to begin with. Ooh, hello. <laughs>
this rubble heap here to the right of the A pillar was like a trench, a war trench. These rats just kept coming over, one after the other after the other. I told you the place was humping. Lucky bugger. Rats often like to feel safe when they're undercover. Pallets and things like that that are quite low, they'll always be hanging around under there. But I can still see you. Annoying, but with so much activity it's hardly surprising occasionally we ran out of ammo. It was time to let Lee have a little go. Some of the rats under these bins here were some of the fattest I've ever shot. Just take a look at this next one. A right biffer. Whoa. It's my little one-eyed friend from earlier. So with the best part of probably 50 to 60 rats already down, not surprisingly, we were running low on air. It was time to get pumped. Must be hundreds down the back there. was
I think behind that mattress there, there must have been a nest because there was a serious steady stream of rats coming out of there for most of the time that we were present. Mm -hmm. You see that hit the wall? Mm -hmm. Straight through. with one shot there. See with one shot. Yeah, it went through that one, isn't it? Like I said, the bottoms of these bins here are really productive, and the other rats that are quite inquisitive to see their twitching friends on the floor uh, come along to uh, join the body count. Using the nylon breakaway coasters is a really good way of zooming in and out with ease. It's also good when you've got gloves on. I'll put a link to those in the description below. Now, keep watching this rat because he's going to make another appearance again very soon. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hey? I said it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Well, for Mickey, yeah. <sighs> Good fun. And here's that rat making an appearance, being eaten by Hannibal the cannibal. Yeah. Disgusting yeah. little creature.
What a way to go, as Lee takes a perfectly placed headshot with that male rat getting his end away. <laughs> Right, it's now time to try and pick up as many of these little buggers as we can. They are absolutely everywhere. Clearly we're not going to get to the back of those ones in the A-frames, and there's quite a lot in there, and we're not going to get to pick the ones up right at the very top of the rubbish pile, if it's simply not safe. However, we will be able to get all of these, so we'll gather them all up, see how many we manage to pick up, and uh, get a decent photo. And there you go. And that was that. One hell of a night's ratting, I think you'll agree. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Take care, stay safe, and happy shooting.